Okay, here we are from the Quinta de Bolivar in uh, Santa Marta. And we're just enjoying a great time over here. This is also a botanical garden, but this is a national monument because the Libertador, the Liberator, Simon Bolivar, the main guy, in, guy for our independence, passed away in uh, this possession that they sent him to have a rest from the illnesses he was having uh, after all the wars and the battles. He had won. Remember, he had gained the independence for five countries, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia, who he was the founder of the nation. Simón Bolívar passed away here at the Quinta de Bolívar. This is Sucre, Antonio José de Sucre, one of the main generals of the independence of Colombia. A very young general that was very respected by Bolívar. Also, this is Atanasio Girardot, another of the heroes of the Colombian independence. This is a commemoration of the Batalla de Boyacá, this is the main independence battle that happened back in August the 7th, 1819. You can see the Patriot Army against the Royalist Army, Los Patriotas contra los Realistas, el 7 de agosto de 1819, and this river is called the Rio Teatinos, and that bridge they conquered. This was the alter ego of uh, Simon Bolivar, but also the second in command of the liberator of the Patriot Armies. He was Francisco de Paula Santander. A very important guy for the independence of Colombia. He was from Villa del Rosario in Santander. The Marquez Lafayette, also very important for the independence of Colombia because well, also, I got to tell you, many of these guys were belong to the masonry. Okay? And this should be Francisco Jose de Caldas, and they're going to think this is the day they shoot at Francisco Jose de Caldas in what the Spanish call La Reconquista. So it was a time after 1810, what we call La Patria Boba, the dump uh, nation, uh, and in 1814, the Spanish sent what is called La Reconquista, with a very bloody guy that they sent over here to make the Reconquista. His name was Francisco Morilla, uh, Morillo, and they called him El Pacificador. And you see Antonio Nariño here. He was one of the main guys of the independence, and he was the one that translated the human rights, los derechos del hombre, and after that, he owned a print shop, so he made a lot of prints of the derechos del hombre, you can see it here. And it's because of him that many of the intellectuals got into the cause of the independence of Colombia. And Francisco Miranda, the Miranda, also a mason, that he started out the Hispano America, the independence all around Latin America. Here from the Quinta de Bolivar. This is the kitchen of those times.
They brought Bolivar in this carriage over here to the Quinta de Bolivar. His last ride, man. This is where Bolivar exhaled his last breath. The father of the nation, on the 17th of December of 1830, he passed away in this bed, in this bed Simon Bolivar. Colombianos, mis últimos votos son por la felicidad de la patria. Si mi muerte contribuye a que cesen los partidos y se consolide la unión, yo bajaré tranquilo al sepulcro. This is Colombian tours right here from La Quinta de San Pedro Alejandrino in Santa Marta, Colombia. Remember to subscribe to my channel to know more about my beautiful country, Colombia. My name is Nestor Melendez with the production of Estefania Melendez and also with the production here, the road production of Federico Garcia here in... Garcia, no es cierto? Sí, yeah. Yeah, Federico Garcia, I said it okay. Here in Santa Marta, he's the guy here. Your tour guide in Santa Marta. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Santa Marta. And you got it, my name is Nestor Melendez. Please subscribe to my channel. Give it a like and also share all around. See you next time. Bye, ciao. O sea, aquí la Quinta de San Pedro Alejandrino era un trapiche, era un lugar donde... Sí, claro. ¿Qué hacían acá? Bueno, esto era una hacienda muy grande que se dedicaba a la producción de caña de azúcar para exportar eh, exactamente ron para diferentes eh, eh, islas y de ahí mandarlas a, a Europa. Pero básicamente eh, el trapiche es un sistema también de, de despichar la caña de azúcar para, para el subprocesamiento de, de ron. Y o se dedicaban al ron, exactamente. O sea, trajeron a Simón Bolívar para que 
para que no sufriera los vientos alicios de diciembre. Sí, Bolívar llegó por el río Magdalena, lo trasladaron al señor de Mier, lo invitó en uno de sus bar embarcaciones, lo trajo a Santa Marta, él llegó a la casa de la aduana en diciembre, los vientos alicios normalmente comienzan en diciembre, él se vio afectado por esos vientos alicios y decidieron traerlo a la Quinta de San Pedro, retirado un poco de la bahía de Santa Marta, para su pronta me, me mejora o su pronta recuperación. El Libertador sufría una bronquitis crónica y era algo que lo estaba afectando sus pulmones y todo su sistema respiratorio. Recuerden que pues, después de todas las batallas y después de todos los cambios de clima que sufrió durante los años de la independencia, Simón Bolívar tenía una salud más bien frágil, no era un, un tipo muy, muy saludable que digamos, y sin embargo, fue el héroe de no solamente de Colombia, sino de Venezuela, de Ecuador, de Perú, de Bolivia y también de Panamá. El genio Simón Bolívar. Estamos acá en la Quinta de San Pedro de Bolívar, un monumento nacional que ustedes tienen que venir a conocer aquí en la hermosa ciudad de Santa Marta. Esta es la colección. También tenemos acá un jardín botánico que es realmente eh, algo especial. Y acá vemos las famosas palmas de cera, que no son de esta región, pero que están sembradas acá representando lo que es Colombia, porque la palma de cera es el árbol nacional de la República de Colombia. Okay, we're here entering the hall of the Centennial Hall, and these were articles that were used in those times to commemorate or just to celebrate the life of Bolivar at 100 years of his disease. On 1930, you know, his disease was in 1820. Look at this. This comes from El Peru. They send them this in the commemoration. And this is an act of the peregrination over here. You know, guys, this is a sacred place for the Republic of Colombia. This is a national monument. and many other things that were used in those times just to commemorate or to celebrate the life of Bolivar 100 years after his disease. Look at this, these are pictures from the Cathedral of Santa Marta right there. We were there, we're showing you. And this is Santa Marta commemorating that special day on December the 7th. 1920. 